Hi, I'm Jason Inman. And I'm Ashley Victoria Robinson. And welcome to DC TV Recap, you DC TV loving people, because this <laughs> is the show where we talk about the DC TV shows that only happen on the CW, no other ones. Stop talking about Lucifer. You know who you are. Okay, uh, this video, uh, like last week's video, is brought to you by the amazing Stardust app. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's an app. Is you know, it? You know what apps are? Yes. It's a pretty awesome app. It's an app basically where you can pull up your smartphone, you uh, watch TV and movies. We all watch TV and uh -huh. movies, right? And you uh, shout your opinions with a video through your phone. Start us that. Cool, cool, cool. And they uh, they teamed up with us because they're, they're enabling us to bring your reactions, your private bedrooms, your secrets into uh, the DC TV recap. Yeah, so not so only mind your backgrounds when you're shooting. Whoa, easy. <laughs> That's a threat. Uh, yeah, so um, you know, not only do we get your awesome questions in these videos now, we now get your faces. Um, so yeah, there's a link down in the description. Go click it. Go over to Stardust, download it, make sure you follow me and react to all these shows and please tag me in them and I'll start using them in uh, future DC TV recap videos. Ooh. So uh, thank you, Stardust. Uh, but first, like we always do, we get straight into the questions. Okay. Uh, Mega Wubba asked, hey, Jason and Ashley, I'm a big fan of your channel. Keep up the amazing work. Thank I you. have a six part question about the future of the DC TV universe. I only picked the first question. Okay. Uh, should John Constantine get a season two on the CW? Yes. A thousand percent, yes. Scrub all the continuity from the previous show. Just start new, but call it season two, I guess for branding's sake. Yeah, just call it season one. And do, yeah, absolutely. Just ignore I, it, just ignore it. I would love, I would love for Constantine to have mm -hmm. a show, and I would love for it to evolve into something like Justice League Dark with other characters like Zatanna, because magic is cool, guys. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's all you got? What do you got? Nothing. No. Uh, all you said is yes. No thoughts to uh, the constant animated show? It's going to be in the CWC like next month? Uh, well, my hope is that, it was my <laughs> same hope with the Vixen show, was that that show would bleed over into live action because yep. the animated series, it's great. It's my hope. And with, it with, sort of did. With the Ray as well. Um, I would love to see. Because we got Grandma see, Vixen. Yeah, Amaya. Um, I'd like to see those as springboard opportunities, yep. as soft pilots, I guess. Heck yes. Heck yes, heck yes, because Constantine has the ability, just like Black Lightning, to be a different type of show. And now that we're at the point with these shows that we have five of them, mm -hmm. we need to find ways to make them feel different. Because I'm going to be honest with you, there are a lot of times where Flash and Supergirl feel like the exact same show. Yeah, uh, yes. Yeah, and that is the distinction that Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow has... Um, they have an advantage on because Arrow. And, and so does Black Lightning with a completely oh, yes, different it, yeah. creative. Team. I didn't mean I didn't. There was no reason I forgot Black Lightning. Just my stupid brain. Um, but yeah, like Legends comes off as this comedy show. Arrow comes off as this like super melodramatic. It's very angsty <laughs> show. Um, so Flash and Supergirl kind of being the standard superhero shows. Um, kind of they kind of come off similar. But Constantine being like the ah, I don't give a puff, smoke your cigarettes, magicy, magicy. That could really stand out as an interesting flavor. Maybe especially if they treated it as this is real magic and f you supernatural. Yeah. You know if they wanted to go that because Constantine like it, it, this is what I would say even cross the two shows over because Constantine would not like the Supernatural boys. Why not? Why, <laughs> I mean, why not? And why yeah. not? You know, Supernatural has to end someday. I don't know. I have a feeling that somebody made a deal with Satan and that show's going on forever. Look, one of them's going to have to die eventually. And no, that's I, when that show will end. I honestly think um, one of them made a deal with Satan and that, that show will never <laughs> die. But... Why not? And 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 Supernatural. Is By the way, so I like I like Supernatural. So relax, everybody. <laughs> it is it is so <laughs> successful. So why not? I'm surprised that we haven't had sort of a precursor to that, mm -hmm. especially in the wake of Vampire Diaries going away. So Constantine mm -hmm. could just slide right in there and yeah. fill that gap. CW. Yeah. Speaking of sliding right in there and filling some gaps, uh, we're gonna go to your reactions over on the Stardust app. Remember. Go over there, tag me. That's how you're gonna be in the show. I want you in the show. Do it, you crazies. Okay, we're gonna start <laughs> off with a reaction uh, about Legends of Tomorrow. Okay. All right, so as usual, Legends is always fun. Uh, this week, it's basically them mixed in with the movie uh, No Country for Old Men. Uh, Ray gets close to the darks and stuff like that. Uh, Wally is able to prove himself to the Legends. And uh, what do you call it? We learn more about Zari and Amaya and the totem and, and the world where Malice is in. It is a really cool episode. I liked it. I'm gonna kick my own ass. I'm gonna kick my own ass. <laughs> 
he brings up the point that we actually kind of forgot to mention in our review that Davy and Dark at one point goes, I got to do the thing that I, you know, I should have done. I'm going to kick my own ass. We did forget to talk about that. Well, a lot of people called us in the comments on it, and it is totally true. Um, all of his points on Legends were were dead on. Um, we I learned more about the totems. Yeah, I appreciated him bringing up the Zari and Amaya stuff because we kind of glossed over that, and I sure. actually thought that that's one of the more interesting things that Zari's got to do this season. And even mm -hmm. though they were in a blue lit soundstage, I thought it looked cool as a spirit mm -hmm. plane. Also, that stuff. Um, way more important for the overall season yeah, than any yeah. of the Damien Dark stuff, too. <laughs> yeah, you said that at one point. You're like, they're actually doing the useful thing here, <laughs> even though they're just sitting in a room. Yeah, they're <laughs> finally telling us what Mollus is, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go to a uh, review uh, for Flash. Ooh. Ooh, hey there, it's your old pal Sam here with another uh, Flash review talking about Enter Flash Time. Had a look at the title really quick. I was pretty excited for this concept, this episode after last week's uh, preview, and I think it paid off pretty well. I, I enjoy it. Uh, you're kind of left with the, the, the question of how could he ever be this, like, slower than this ever again, you know? But uh, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Tag me in it. <laughs> It's our old pal, Sam. Hey, it's that guy. Hey, we know him. We know that guy. <laughs> uh, Sam brings up an interesting point. How can the Flash have anything else as a threat if he is like literally as fast as nanoseconds? Well, it also raises the same question that uh, Supergirl touched on when she solar flared that one time and we've never seen her do it Season again. Season one. It's like, that's a really powerful tool when you want to incorporate it more in your arsenal. I'll tell you how it's not going to happen again, Sam. It's expensive. Drama. <laughs> They're just writing drama. Yeah. How do we solve this? Drama. How come Barry can't run faster than this, you know, moving bullet? Drama. Yeah, yeah. Because every be. season he's going to learn how to run a little bit faster. Yep. All right, we got another uh, uh, reaction here of The Flash as well. Guys, this Flash episode was probably the best Flash episode, my personal favorite this season. What do you think, Mom? Oh, man, it was awesome. It was awesome. We saw what make Flash Flash. Man, Flash. the Flash time thing was... <gasps> Awesome! Oh my god, it was amazing. It was amazing. But Wasn't I really, amazing? I really miss Ralphie tonight. I know where Ralphie being. Ralphie being see Ralph tonight. Oh yeah. my god, the episode was but so was good. good. Check my favorite. Out, my favorite. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, we didn't see Ralph tonight. I thought that was a plus. Uh, I want to say, oh my God, uh, they're so precious, these two people. And uh, I like that he watches Flash with his mom. Mom's accent. On point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stellar. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't miss Ralph in this episode. I um, nope. And I would think going out of your way to include him would have been too much. Well, it was a packed episode. Yeah. yeah I mean, we had two guest stars. Yep. So he, he was a uh, sleeping or something. And a lot of panting. There was a lot of panting. A lot of this sweating. Episode. They're a lot very of sweating in this episode. Wet people. A lot of touching people in this episode. But touching them while wet, which I do not approve of. No, it's very sticky. There's no flash power for getting rid of wetness. Gross. Mm. How much people died in this episode? What? This episode was really great. You know, it was the aftermath of uh, Jefferson and Lynn finding out that Ness has powers, and they were really trying to convince her not to use them since it technically, you know, damages your life, how it did Jefferson's technically. But they really, like, realized how she needs her powers in order to protect herself, and she wants to help the people of Freeland. So Gamby's going to make her suit, and uh, Tobias' sister died, Lady E died, the people who were protecting Lady E died, and that ending, though, Lala's alive. So how many people died in this episode? Okay, I think this Stardust user is very concerned for all the nameless goons. <laughs> that, I mean, there are a lot of nameless goons that die, but besides the nameless goons... But I mean, Tori and Lady Eve going out is a pretty big deal. Sure. I think especially... Neither one of the main cast. I would say especially Lady Eve because she is set up as this powerful mm -hmm. player, and taking her out of the equation means that we're now going to have Gamby dealing more directly with Tobias, which is going to put straight on his relationship with Jefferson, which is probably going to lead to whatever their conflict is going to be in the later half of the season. But I was surprised that we had this much character death of named characters because the CW shows tend to leave that until uh, season finale business. Well, that's one thing that Black Lightning does better than all the other shows. It doesn't waste no time. No, it doesn't. But actually, it makes smart and calculated moves, mm -hmm. which I really mm -hmm. appreciate. All right, let's go back to the comments here. Uh, Mega Wubba has another question. Ooh. He was the first question. Now he's this question. He had six questions. Uh, there, yeah. Hey, Jason and Ashley, I have a question about the DC TV universe. Should live action Batman be on TV series on sci fi? I think it said, should there be? Ah. Uh. Is what he's asking here. Uh, Batman Beyond on sci fi. We're doing Krypton. Why not go to the future with Batman, Ashley? I don't want anything to do with Batman Beyond, so no. Yep. 
Ashley, um, Ashley doesn't like Batman Beyond. Ashley's never watched Batman Beyond. I have seen a handful of episodes. They made the greatest character into the Joker. I have no use for that reality. No. You're going to say yes, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, it'd be a very expensive show. I've actually said for years that Batman Beyond should be a movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if this... I don't know if you could do it as a TV show. Because you, you do want Bruce Wayne in it. And you do want it to look futuristic. Well, if you wait 10 more years, you can just cast Ben Affleck as old Bruce Wayne. Screw that. <laughs> cast George Clooney right now. He's age appropriate. Or go Val Kilmer. Whoever you can afford. I doesn't matter. Burt Ward. He'll do it. He will. He definitely will. I'll tell you what I would like to see for a Batman type sci-fi show. Um, specifically sci-fi network. I think We Are Robin would be perfect street level Batman without Batman, but in a way we've never seen before. Sure. I, uh, um, I'm i still going to go Batman Beyond uh, for movies. Uh, we Are Robin. I don't know if we'll ever see that adapted. Oh, into we, live action we will not. Uh, but, but I think I think it could be cool. But Batman Beyond is amazing. And uh, please tell Ashley so in the comments below. Ah, okay. Don't at me. Uh, Reverse Julius, I love that name. That's cute. Says, hey, Jason and Ashley, I'm a new fan of the show and I've been joining it a lot. My question is, do you think the Arrow cast will be cut down a bit during the season? I personally think Thea may leave with Roy at the end of Roy's arc this season, or some of the new Team Arrow will leave or die before the end of the season. Okay, we. Firstly, welcome. Thank you for being oh, a cool. new a new person. By the way, That's sweet great. username. Uh, we talked about this a lot last week in our Arrow mm-hmm. review where we talked about how. We kind of think the Terrifics, as I'm calling the recruits, because yeah. um, they're not recruits anymore, um, kind of seem like they should be done. Yeah, and my prediction for a while has been that Laurel Black Siren is going to be rehabbed. She's going to join the team. For me, that means that dinah has got to be out, which is yep. a real bummer. I think Renee has to be out. He's screwed up too many times by yep. this point. We'll keep Curtis because we've had Curtis this long. Yes. He's been a mainstay cast member longer but than I, the other two. I could two. see him just going back to being a scientist. He will. Plus, yep. he punches the diversity card for him, which is great. Mm-hmm. I would love to see Thea and Roy uh, leave together. And Roy is in this week's episode. Yes, we know that that's and I coming think, up. I don't know. If, I think he's around for more than one episode. I I'm hope not so. certain. I hope he is too because I actually really miss Roy on this show. I really so do. do. I. And I was sad when he left the show. Um, we've also been saying that Thea's been really wasted on the show mm-hmm. as well and Thea kind of needs to go away. So to be honest with you, Thea going with Roy is a possibility that I had not considered before, but that's a great that's a great idea. So, like, should, well done sh- to you. Should they? Yes. Will they? Maybe. <laughs> uh, reverse Julius, uh, send your ideas into the Arrow Show, and they will pay you in no dollars. Okay. <laughs> yeah, really. Uh, last question comes from Tony Wales. Hey guys, yo. Hey. Uh, since Black Lightning has been electrifying, uh, do you think that we will see some version of the Outsiders on the show? Yes. I've made this prediction a couple of times also, before. Also, because of Grace. Yeah. Yes. Who is part of the Outsiders? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think. But I think it's going to be a season two thing. I don't think they're. I don't think we're going to see any hint of the outsiders, with the exception of Grace. And we saw the comic. But like, yeah. we're. It's going to take the whole season to get Jen's powers. Yes. And this season is the season of family. And I think yeah. next season is going to be the uh, season of brand expansion. I guess. Well, it's going to be the season of growing the family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be growing there the family or getting a different family. Uh, I think the outsiders are definitely going to be on this show, but just like Roy Harper becoming Arsenal, I think that's a season two thing. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't, they're not, they're, we're not, we could meet some of the, like, don't be surprised that you start seeing a lot of familiar names pop yeah. up who have been on the outsiders, but there won't be any official outsiders team, I think, until season we two. We also know that Black Lightning has kind of a truncated first season. So yep, 13 they, episodes. I don't know if they have enough time to establish and develop a whole other team. No, this season's all Tobias Whale. Yeah. So go down in the comments and give us a great question that we can use next week. Make sure you use great questions because we'll use them in the videos. And if you want more exclusive geeky content, head on over to patreon.com slash Jobin. Join our Super Friends Hall of Justice to get all kinds of cool stuff. And don't forget to click subscribe. We'll see you next week.